What's going on YouTube? What's going on family? What's going on drivers all over the world, man? Um, here in Michigan, man, I'm um, currently here, just pulled up to this, um, to this dock I'm about to get unloaded here at the Costco. But um, today I'm bringing you this video. Um, there's three things that I wanna go over. The first one is dispatch. The second one is mouse. The third one is e -logs. Um, I was um, encouraged to bring you guys this video. Um, one of my friends, good friend of mine, um, shout out to him over there, Chris over there at HT Logistics. That's a good buddy of mine. Me and him talk on a regular basis. And um, I'm bringing you guys this video because it's been um, a lot of talk out there with um, company drivers uh, pertaining to those three things that I mentioned. Dispatch, mouths, and e-logs. I'm not going to hold you guys up too long, but um, I just wanted to run over those three things real fast. A lot of guys that whenever in this hold on, this is particularly pertaining to my uh, my company drivers that are out there, especially if you're leased on to or well not leased on, <laughs> if you are a company driver and you and you're working for one of these major carriers out here because most major carriers out here, they are the ones that run the e logs and all that stuff. But um, on to the topic. Okay guys, a lot of you guys that are out here, company drivers, you talk about, well, dispatch, my dispatch isn't giving me the, the runs that I want, I'm not getting the miles, or et cetera, et cetera. Uh, guys, it's, 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 or you may say, I don't want to run in this area, or I don't want to run, I don't want to go to New York, or I don't, I don't want to go out to California, but you know what? You guys say that you want to make, let's say a thousand dollars a week. You want to make that on a consistent base. Well, guys, if you are a company driver, you really must, you really don't have no say so unless you, you're at a company like mine where the load is not making any sense or whatever, you know. But to get to that level right there, you have to understand certain things, meaning you have to under, you got to have that communication with your dispatch. You got to look at the load that the dispatch sends you and see if it's making any sense. What I mean by making any sense is Let's say if I get a load. Well, let me give you let me give you an example. This load that I currently have right now, um, I picked it up yesterday. It was a little over 340 some miles total. That's dead head in um, loaded miles. I could have gotten the load here to where I'm delivering to right now yesterday. When I originally got this load, guys. I denied the load. So let me tell you why I denied the load. Because first thing is I looked at the miles on the load and, and I seen that the load didn't deliver into today. I was like, hell no, I don't want that load right there. I got miles, I got I got hours on my on my Qualcomm. I had hours to run that load yesterday. So by me thinking, I'm like, man, I don't want that load right there. So then I got to thinking about a few things. I, one thing that I seen was I seen that this place I'm delivering to, they have overnight parking. That was in that was an A plus right there. Second thing I thought about is, well, if I get there, get there early, which was yesterday, if I got here a little early, uh, they probably could have unloaded me, you know, 
early instead of today. That was another A plus right there. The main thing though, the main thing out of those three things right here, which is I could have stayed here all night and I wouldn't be on my, my 14 hour wouldn't be going right now. You, are, you got, are you guys following me? Meaning I had a few things on my side, but I didn't come here yesterday. I ended up coming here this morning. Reason why I didn't come here yesterday because I had stopped and took a shower yesterday evening and that sort of messed up the time that I wanted to get here yesterday. But you know, that leads on to say, that leads on to say, um, you know, I sort of kicked myself in the butt a little bit, but it doesn't matter. You know, I got here anyway. But guys, you can't, you can't be as picky as you want to be when you when you're a company driver you have to know what you're doing out here man if you're if you're wanting to get those thousand dollar checks thousand dollar plus checks every week you're gonna have to do some things that you don't want to do you know you're gonna have to sleep at the um the place you're delivering to or you're gonna have to sleep at the shipper and all that stuff man but my main my biggest thing for you guys man you're gonna have to know how to run your e-log man because if you don't know how to run this e-log you're not gonna understand anything man you're not gonna understand the loads that your dispatch sends you you know you're not going to know how to run those 2700 plus miles a week you know I put it to you like this. If you're over here, if you're at a major carrier, guys, and you're on e-logs, I'm going to say this. This is strictly for my newbies that are just transitioning out of CDL school. If you are going to a major carrier and if you're not running at least 2,700 miles a week, and I know most most major carriers, they run their drivers at least 2,700 miles a week. That's if you know what you're doing on the e-log, man. If you're not doing that right there, man, you in the way out here, dude. You're not, you're not wanting to make any money. I'm just be straight up with you. You're not wanting to make any money at all because once you start getting those, getting into that range right there, that's when you start making some, some decent amount of money, man. And I put it to you like this, guys. I had told you guys this um, in the video before this one. There are a lot of jobs out there where you can make the same amount of money as an OTR driver by driving local. And that's one of the things that, you know, I'm looking into right there. But um, like I said, that was just... That was a video before I made this one right here. But um, guys, I encourage you guys out there, you know, like I said, my new drivers out there, to my new company drivers that are out there that are going to, that are coming to these major carriers. Guys, try your damnness. When you're on that trainer truck, pay attention to your trainer, man. Try to look at videos, guys. Look at these videos. There's a lot of there's a lot of videos out here on YouTube, man. That some drivers have made. You that they have made some pretty good videos. Some, they have some pretty good content. But it's up to you to find your niche. You know, because your trainer can only show you so much. You know what I'm saying? If you're not asking the right questions or searching for the right thing, you know what I'm saying? Searching for the right answers, you're not going to get it. You're not going to be able to communicate with your dispatch like you should be doing. You're not going to be able to run that 2,700 plus miles a week. You're not going to be able to 
uh, understand the e-log. And to cover all that right there, guys, you're not going to see the amount of money that you want to see in your bank account every week. But um, guys, that's all I have for you guys right now. Um, if you guys have um, any questions or concerns, feel free to um, contact me. You know, I'm going to leave my email address in the um, description box below. And um, you guys be safe out there. And um, I'll see you guys on the next video.